How critical is equipment to an athlete performing at the peak of their powers? We find out as Maris Stromberg talks us through the precision necessary to become a two-time Olympic gold medalist. BMX is an extreme sport. It's fast, full of adrenaline, and I think it's exciting. Exciting to watch and, and even more exciting to ride and then race. As one of the Olympics' newest sports, BMX racing is an adrenaline junkie's dream. Combining breakneck speeds with intricately detailed jumps, grit and power are mandatory. As the only man to win an Olympic gold medal in the sport, nobody defines these qualities better than Latvia's own Maris Strombergs. Hey guys, line up in the gate, gate drops, and then you have a track that's usually around uh, 300 to 400 meters. There's a bunch of obstacles, doubles, tables, step-ups, usually three turns, and then we just just go at it. We compete against those other seven guys that's on the track and whoever crossed the finish line first, and that's, that's BMX. It might sound simple enough, but the attention to detail Strombergs and the other elite BMX riders use to prepare their bikes is critical to their success in racing. The equipment we use in BMX is, I think, for every rider is very personalized. We all have forks, we all have wheels, we all have cranks and handlebar. So it's similar, but there's always those little details that every rider preferred. This bike is designed for jumps and landing and obviously going fast. And we can go ride this bike in a park, but it's mainly designed for racing and not doing tricks. I have one of the heaviest bikes in the BMX because I myself am the one of the biggest and probably heaviest guys in the sport. But a lot of guys, that they use carbon frames. That's very popular these days and obviously that's, that's a lot lighter as well. But to me, I like, I like aluminum because I like to feel a little bit of that flex going into the turns. With the carbon, you don't get that. The size of my wheels are 20 inch wheels. It's a rule. I mean, it's a 20 inch bike and everyone has to run 20 inch wheels and there's no other size you can really run in professional sport. On my bike, I only have one brake and then we try not to use it very much. The less you use it, faster you go. This bike only has one gear. We can always switch it out in between races or between like events and stuff like that, but usually we stick to the one gear and that's it. Clip pedals are very important for BMX. I mean, they we clip in and it's just the, the pressure you put on the pedal. I would say it's 50% more than you would get out of the regular flat pedals that the guys ride in the parks or uh, freestyle bikes and that, that's the big difference. We have a seat, but usually we keep it as low as we can so it doesn't bother us because when we ride we have to stand up because when we jump or when we go with the jumps, we, there's a lot of movement, especially have to bend our legs and stuff like that. So we try not to use it and just basically put it as low as you can and then get it out of the way. Despite every attempt to keep safety at a premium, BMX racing is a dangerous sport. Every race carries potential risks, as not only could you come off your bike, but you could incur a serious injury in the process. We always try to stay out of the trouble. <laughs> we always try to get out first and then just ride a safe lap. But you know, the, the crashes, all the contact is inventable, you know, and so the helmet, pads, everything you put on riding your bike, I mean, it's gonna help you and protect, but when you crash hard, I mean, you can't protect yourself from breaking bones. So, I mean, it's just how the sport is. By combining meticulous preparation with a fearless work ethic, the risks are far outweighed by the reward. And in Stromberg's case, that means becoming a two-time world and Olympic champion. My favorite part of racing BMX is obviously winning. <laughs> we, all, we all are winning, but at the same time, you have, you have to learn how to lose. But the favorite part is just getting that adrenaline when you're in the gate and then seven, eight guys ne you know, next to you and then just getting out at the gate and then when you cross the finish line, it's just what keeps you going and especially winning keeps you motivated and all that stuff. So it, I would say it's just an adrenaline rush, that's what we get.